Hey everyone, I'm Alfred. I uh, accidentally talked to this guy and realized I hadn't spoken to him, so I'm going to. Uh, he asks if I brought word from Wanua, and have I figured out how to get through the rock layer. Kovujaga can appear at any time. Battling them takes special skill. Jaga is a word that means scorpion. I believe Kovujaga is just a type of bug. The chief prospector for mine eight. Sh mine shaft eight. We dig for protodermis and stone here. Uh, what rock layer? The bottom of shaft B, the elevator goes there. When Okura's had real problems until we hit the strata. Can't dig through it to blast it. Not even o Onua could claw through it. It's just too strong. Mining captains have been trying to get Onua to give us more workers and machines. If we don't find a way through this rock, there won't be any more protodermis. Well, bye. Protodermis, now more uh, commonly, modernly known as energized protodermis, is uh, a weird silvery glowing metal. Uh, and it can be used as a power source. Wait, can I... Spin myself around. Can I take a... Oh yeah, I can pause this as well. Hey, uh, I got my way back here. Strange, a prospector found this in Onokoro underground. Who'd build a sundial underground? Maybe there was an earthquake and it fell beneath the earth. I in fact know that there was an earthquake. Ancient sundial used many years ago. I'm certain that it's its purpose. Uh, it has an indicator at four o'clock. Um, no other sundials have this. I've always been curious as to why. Take this nomon and see if it fits in the center of the sundial. I found it in the foothills of Mount Ihu a long time ago and have been looking for the sundial for which it belongs. You may have found it for me. If it's in a cave, we may not ever find out what happened every day at four, unless you have some way to fake sunlight on your ground. We do. Um, I'm going to go to... Oops. I'm going to head along to Takoro, though. Oh, wait, I need that lady's boat. Yes. Can you schlep me to Tawahi? Thank you. All right. I'm going to check this again just because. Okay. So this thing is... Moving left, and then there's... Yeah, okay. So what uh, what does that mean? The mountains, maybe? Indicating the coming of the Toa? Could make sense. More mountains, indicating the coming of... Uh, Kopaka. Yeah, just the coming of the Toa makes the most sense. They're currently on that quest for the mask grind. So, uh... We can follow these. And you can see that these... Are loosely the same uh, feet that... Uh, are present on him. They actually have different feet. Um... Pohatu does. Because his power is to kick. <sighs> yeah! So cool. So cool. It's not, but it is cool. I love it. It's cool. Uh, Takoro, a friendly and inviting place. Looks vaguely like Mordor. Hey, guys. Uh, you may pass. Jala says we gotta keep a sharp lookout for Arahi. So that guy's name is spelled J-A-L-L-E-R. But uh, they don't call him Jalur. They normally still just say Jala. Because it's still supposed to be Jala. But they don't say that. This is he. I've heard of your exploits in Gakoro. Excellent work, my friend. Take care. My scouts have reported a build-up in Rahi, and I fear a massive counteroffensive. Never enough good worries to send against the Rahi. You look stout. Consider a career in the guard. Maybe I will. 
Who are you? I'm Jala, captain of the guard. It's my job to protect the city against the Rahi. I knew they were getting uh, stronger, but nobody in the city believed me until the beasts overran the Trenkrom Redoubt. A redoubt is just a, gra- a geographical location, but Trenkrom is a character that uh, appears in like 2007 or 8. Lost a lot of good warriors that day. Then Tahu arrived, and we know why the Rahi are on the move. Bakama says he'll save us, but I don't see the hope. I don't see the point in putting all of our hope in him. You can never have too much security. Takoro is the city in the Great Lake of Fire, in the shadow of Mangai, the Great Volcano. The fortress guards the bridge of it. Many, many Matoran live there. Surely you've heard of it. Most of the people in Takoro farm the lava fields in the north beneath the Mangai. Many are surfers riding the lava rapids for sport. Our people are the most courageous warriors in all of Mata Nui, and we're not afraid to challenge the Makuti's beast if we must. But we cannot confront the enemy Lov, and I do not have faith in the other cities of Matanui. If they do not join with us in defense, we will all perish Toa or not. So just like uh, how Gama Torin can swim better and hold their breath longer, Tama Torin uh, can resist fire, uh, which is why they're able to surf on lava, and also why they're able to live here. Do-do-do. The Rahi serve the Makuta. They're horrible beasts, ruthless and fierce. Some can fly, others walk on the ground. Some I've heard even tumbled beneath it. We've battled many of them. Uh, this is incorrect, but Jala wouldn't know better. Maybe he would, but... The Rahi are normally just regular, normal old animals. Uh, however, when the infected masks are put on them, that we talked about before, uh, they infected masks are just how the Makuta controls them. In recent times, they become bolder and force us back here. Takuro used to reach all the way to the coast. The charred jungle was a green, peaceful place. But in the fury of our battles, it was burnt. But we are Takoro Matoran, and we will not surrender. And now to- Tahu, the great fire spirit, has come to lead us against them. They can attack at any time, always when least expected. That's why we must be on guard. I studied them extensively. It's possible they were once normal creatures, like the ones that inhabit Mata Nui, until the Makuta turned them, although I'm not certain of this. If it's true, there may be another way to fight them. Till then, we must patrol our starcades and our trenches day and night and keep the guard fires burning. Well, thank you. Goodbye. May Tahu protect you, Traveler. So this is a thing that is almost never talked about again, but, like, they're almost, like, worshipping Tahu here. Yeah, Technic Gears. Yeah. Yeah, they're almost worshipping Tahu. Like, they call him the Great Fire Spirit because he is. He's a Toa. This is a thing that was cut. So, uh, if you visited New Zealand as a tourist or have any interest in the Maori people, you may know um, that they have this like ancient sacred war dance called the haka. Um, and the New Zealand, the New Zealand, I think rugby team. It's either rugby or soccer. It's one of the European sports that Americans don't care about. Um, as a way to honor their culture, heritage, and origin of New Zealand. Uh, their their team will do a haka, uh, like as a part of as a part I think pre game. Uh, and these guys back here are doing a haka. They're doing a traditional like war dance. But that's uh, something that is extremely specific to the Maori culture, uh, and so was one of the things cut. Hey, here's the lava surfboard you asked me to hang on to. I did. Well, uh, thanks. When I give us a hand, a farmer's work's never done. This is the shrine where Tahu will bring the Kanohi. Kanohi. This is that Suva thing that I talked about. Ta. I don't know what this means. Let's peek our head inside. Ah. We lost a bunch of drilling equipment when that flow burst. It's stuck on the other side of the fire lake. If only we could get across. Better steer clear of this area. A runaway lava flow that burst from Takoro. No way to get to the lights on mine, so it's rerouted. Well, I suppose it's possible that I could think of some way to fix that, but maybe I'll come do it later. Uh, Onukoru. Is that Pokoru? I'll finish up here. I'm getting flipped turned upside down. Pardon me. Yeah! 
It's thrilling. Big key. Oh, it's one of these. I never know the right way to do these things. Oh, man. Oh, man. Okay. Okay. Oh, man. Okay, I know what it is at least. Oh man, I I can't. Let me take another slide here. Oh yeah. Keen eyed viewers can also recognize that these are more uh, technic pieces. Let me turn around here. Can I get this key from you, friend? I do not know the term Gomon. Or is it Nomon? It's Nomon. Here we go. It's another Turaga. So you found your way back. You are brave. I do not know what brought you to the city, but you should take care. There's some who remember you. The temper of the Takoro Tohunga uh, boils as swiftly as the great Mongai in whose shadow we live. But in this, our first hour of hope, you may find the village's patience to be greater than usual. Yes, there is hope in Takoro. Tahu is here. It was Jaller who found him. He cut him in a trap and did it for Arahi. Almost the end of my brave captain and of his famous guard. sound the stock music is too much guys <laughs> and again you can see a little bit of the haka there like they were supposed to do that after every victory do you guys think the um the farts on fire joke is a bit much See, so yeah, in the early stuff, they almost, like, deify Tahu. Um, which is something that they... I don't think they really stuck with, which I think is good. Um, the people are elated, but I know their courage will be tested more than ever. Tahu's arrival marks the first step in a great struggle, and I have much to do. Sorry for having so little time for you. As you know, there's a lot to do. Anything more you would ask of me? There's hardly time for jokes. Have you gotten all your great deeds? And the thing that drove you away from us? Who's Tahu? Uh, he will save us. He has come from the heavens, as foretold in the ancient legends of our city, to battle the Ra Makuta for the Sword of Fire and release us from tyranny. He's a great hero and will struggle against the Rahi of the Makuta. Face great dangers. 
Legends prophesy the legends prophecy six heroes descend does that should that be prophesize? Descend from the heavens to Mata Nui, and one of them is Tahu the Fiercest. Dispatched to Mata Nui left him uncertain. He has needed help to understand his long awaited quest. I have told Tahu all I know of the great legends of Mata Nui and the masks of power. I've done all I can. It's up to him to adventure into the wilderness and find a way to defeat the Makuta. I am Vakama, Taraga of this village, and the legend keeper, the Takara leader. He of the great fire staff who farms the manga's burning core. Have your aimless wanderings caused you to forget everything? Surely you have the board I gave you, for it is a gift. Lava surfing, su lava surfing is a difficult skill, and no Matorn other than those who dwell of Takoro have call it knowledge of it. Be pity if you've forgotten entirely. I have work to do. Preparing for the arrival of another. I am not certain, but the stars have revealed a new prophecy, which I do not understand. A new... Um... Toa, perhaps? Wouldn't that be wild? All right, so I think if we turn around, we'll just be on our way out of here. Let's turn around once more, and let's climb. So there's a zippy hook, it takes us somewhere else. One of them, one of them zippy hooks, zip, zippy hooks. What are they called? Zippy hooks, zip line. Oh, goodness, I'm so stupid. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Zip line. Okay. Kind of feels unsafe here, but that's all right. The charred forest, as described earlier. This art is very simple, but it looks so good. Good place to get lost in, I guess. I'm Kapora. Hey, Kapora. We'll talk to you next time. Uh, I've been Alfred. This has been another part of the new online game. Uh, making decent progress this time. I feel at least. Uh, having the older build might be helping me. Just because, like, triggers are working and there's cutscenes. Uh, but yeah, I've been out for this. has been the modern new online game. If you'd like, this game can still be downloaded and played for yourself if you're waiting on me here. Um, but if not, and you'd rather stay with my commentary, uh, I'll continue posting this until I'm done. Uh, until then, have a good day, everyone. Bye.